Hey guys, Agent Luke here. I wanted to take this opportunity to show you guys how to use some of the new hooks um, and of course the sensors, lights, and connectors to build uh, a, you know, a pretty nice landing experience. Uh, we can use some blinking lights, we can use some triggers to change their colors, um, and ultimately it, it just kind of brings your landing experiences to life. So we're just coming into Mars base now, uh, just a fresh mining hall. And we're going to go over here to landing pad delta, and we're going to see how the lights and connectors and sensors work together to give us, you know, some more landing indications. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in over top. You can see the green lights there. That uh, means the landing pad is open. Um, there is no occupancy. The sensor doesn't detect anything, and we are cleared to land at it. So we're going to line up with this connector first. There we go. And then we're going to keep an eye on the lights. And the lights are working in unison with Mother. Um, and a sensor underneath the landing pad to change as we get closer. So as soon as we get in 20 meters or so, we're going to notice the light start to flash. There we go. So now we are in the landing configuration. We'll get outside here quickly. And we're going to notice as soon as we come down and we hit park, the lights are going to change to red. And also the blinking is technically changed. And this means that we are now docked and mother has handled all of this automation entirely using hooks uh, and configuration in your custom data so i have landing pad echo over here this guy's not configured yet so i figured this is a great opportunity to wire that up with you uh, in the same way we wired up pad, landing pad delta um, and hopefully this gives you some inspiration on how to use lights sensors and connectors to make your docking experiences more exciting Okay, let's just look at our configuration or our block configuration for a second here. So we'll just get this guy up so we have some stuff to look at. So a couple things. We've got six inset lights we're going to be using. We're going to be configuring this connector here, although we would want to configure this connector as well. We just won't do that in this video. And then finally, underneath, we have a sensor set up here. Um, and this is going to be the sensor that we're controlling uh, to ensure everything's working correctly. And the first thing I'll actually do is make sure that it is showing on our HUD so that we can actually see the sensor area, right? And now we don't see it here, but that's because we want to go into our grid. In this case, this big, the base grid, it's got a funky name right now, working through that. But if we find that sensor, which is the OR Echo landing pad sensor, um, this will be where we can do some stuff. And so we'll put our hooks inside the custom data. But firstly, we're gonna go to our grid and we're going to go show sensor field ranges. And there we go. So we see the box coming from underneath. Now that's actually not a bad starting point, but of course we want the box to go up about 20 meters and cover the whole landing pad. So we'll actually zoom out here. This is the easiest way to do it. And since we're on the antenna network, we can actually just interface with that sensor from here. And that allows us to see the entire field the whole time. So we'll get echo. And then we're just gonna start playing around with it. So left extend is that side. So we'll get it outside of the red. Right extend, same thing, outside of the red. Um, bottom goes this way. Top goes that way. Back is the elevation. So frontal set to zero. We don't want to detect anything underneath, but we're going to set this to 20 meters. Um, so that gives us a, a decent indicator, kind of safety zone, you could say. So anything inside this block will trigger that sensor. Okay, and since while we're up here, we got a good vantage point. I'll get them over on the side of the screen here so we can see them completely. Actually, yeah, this is probably the best side to see them. We'll also look at our lights. So if we go to our grid, we search lights. You'll notice I've also got these inset lights connected together in a group. So you see one, two, three, four, five, six selected, and that's just lights or echo landing pad. So it's these two, uh, this grouping of lights and this sensor that we're going to use to wire everything up. Okay, so let's actually get down to the nitty gritty and see how that is done. So first thing we're going to want to do is probably work on the sensor itself. Okay, so let's go into, in fact, we'll do it all from our jetpack just to give us a good vantage. So let's find our sensor, sensor echo, and let's go into our custom data. And now we've noticed we've got nothing here. This is a fresh sensor, but of course we know that we can define a hook section and sensors have two hooks that I'd like to draw your attention to. We've got on detect, on detect, and we've got on clear, right? As you'd expect, when the sensor is detecting something, we'll call this hook. When the sensor is clear and it's not detecting anything, we'll call this hook. So what do we want to do when we sense it? Well, really, we just want to start the lights flashing, I think. Let's start with that. So we know that the light blink command works. We'll do a placeholder here for a second just for the name, and we're going to blink at medium. 
right? Let's just copy and go and get our names. So we're looking for the light group that we just used. So again, if we search landing pad lights, echo landing pad, we're going to copy that. Then we're going to jump back into our sensor. And again, the nice thing is we only have to really do this part once because once we have the, the value, we can just copy and paste it. So when we detect something, we're going to make our landing pads blank at a medium frequency. All right. And when we go on clear, what we're going to want to do is stop that blink. OK, so we're going to basically we just copy this command and we go blink off. OK, now let's see how that works. So we'll go to mother. Um, this is the one we use for this grid. We're going to recompile. And then we fly out, fly in, and we see the light starting to blink. Now we don't have any colors yet, but we do see that the detectors or the sensors rather are working correctly. Okay, and that's really all we need to do with the sensor. In fact, uh, the sensor is really just kind of activating a blink or not. It's really the connector that's, that changes the lights um, and furthers the blink state. So let's now take a sec and we can look at the connector. Okay. So here's our connector, connector echo landing pad. Um, we actually don't even need to use this, but we will need to use the triggers for, or the names of our lights and our sensors. And luckily I use the same nomenclature. So this would be actually quite easy to implement. So we'll go to our custom data for our connector. We're going to introduce some hooks. Now you guys may already be familiar with the hooks on the connectors, but typically uh, you'll have your on lock and you'll have your on unlock. We, we have it on ready to lock as well, although I don't think that's really necessary here. So we're going to not focus on that one. But let's think about what we want to do with our locking scenario. So firstly, we probably want to change our lights color, right? So when we lock with the um, with the connector, we would want to probably turn our lights to a different color. So why don't we make it red? Um, we're not going to do this, but we do want to use our lights. So light color on our echo landing pad, we're going to make those red. OK, and since we're going to do the inverse, let's just do it for the unlock and that will make those lights green when we are undocked. OK, I'll make sure we've got our pipe character here for a new line. All right. So those should work. Um, let's just do a quick test while we're going. We'll do a recompile for mother so that she reads. And then we're just going to conduct a docking. So we do see the flash. Parking, we got red. And when we take off, we've got green. OK, so that seems to be working right. Let's just do a few more tweaks to kind of make sure this whole system works correctly. Right. So let's go back to our custom data. Let's think through this just a little bit more. Right. So, of course, we don't want our sensors to be active when the ship is parked uh, because the sensors ultimately their detections change the blinking. But we don't really want to have the sensor capable of doing those things while the ship is uh, kind of in the docking state state. Right. So let's let's make sure that we're turning that block off. And of course, every block that mother has access to has access to the blocks on and block off commands. So just um, like any other block, we can just put in, oops, we actually have the sensor block we can call by name. And the nice thing here, like I mentioned, nomenclature. So we just go, we just call it sensor or, or echo landing pad, nice and easy. And uh, that's actually it. So that's going to turn the block off. And of course, well, we would want to turn it back on as soon as we undock that the sensor can continue on with its detection, right? So we'll just turn that on. OK, and now I, you'll also notice in the other pad, we had a change in blinking speed, and that is when you're coming in for landing, you want it to be really, really, really obvious that there's a ship coming in, right? The, a fast blink makes sense. But of course, once it's docked, um, we can either turn it off or we can set it to a slow blink just so it's, uh, you know, we know there's a ship there, but it's not very distracting to the player, right? And so we can literally, uh, copy most of this command here. And this is again where the benefit of mother comes in. You don't actually have to write a lot of text because most of the stuff works uh, in a similar way. All right, so we're going to blink those lights and we're going to blink them to slow when it's docked, right? So slow red blink when it's docked. Um, and when we want to unlock, we're going to make sure that we set that blink back to medium, right? And that's going to be consistent with our sensor. OK, so that's really it for our hooks on the connector. And this these two custom data configurations, the one for the sensor and the one for the connector is all we need for this docking scenario. So we're going to hit OK. 
We're going to go to Mother. We'll quit, hit a quick refresh. There we go. And now let's see it in action. So we're going to get outside of the sensor field. There we go. We got a steady green light. We're going to bring it down. We're going to see the light start to flash. Okay, awesome. And then we are going to get to the bottom. We're going to hit park. We're going to see those hooks take over. And of course, we also notice the sensor field disappear because the sensor is now off. Now, if we unpark and start moving, we will see the sensor field comes back indicating the sensor's on, the lights are flashing. And when we come outside of the sensor detection area, we're going to notice the lights go back to solid green. So this is a complete configuration for landing pads. And in fact, I use this across all my landing pads now, guys. It's a really awesome visual feedback feature that takes really little effort to set up. And of course, what we just did in those custom data is we could copy those over to Delta, change the echo out for the Delta and all the names, and it would work. All right, so this makes it extremely transferable to other use cases across your grid with basically by just changing the names of the blocks that you're triggering. Um, so I hope that was helpful, guys. I want to do a lot more of these videos as uh, Mother is starting to get more capable to show you guys how I use them in my base. And of course, Mars base is getting quite... Uh, quite substantial in size. I've got a lot of operations working here, a lot of ships. My brother and I are working on this space station over here. And in fact, my goal really is to have this entire grid and everything you see on it running with Mother. And I'm happy to say we're about 90% there. And a lot of that 10% is because of features that Mother didn't have even a week ago. Uh, right? So what you just saw was actually one of the, the last big pieces of capability that I need to add to make this grid 100% run by Mother. So I'm excited to show you guys more about that as the, as the days go on. Uh, so until then, stay tuned and happy engineering.